Hey, welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. Thank you for joining me. You know, the last few weeks have been a lot of interesting stories, especially over the coronavirus mess. I know that probably got me demonetized by mentioning it. But what I don't understand are the people that are losing their minds over having to wear a mask in public. Now, I'll admit I haven't worn a mask every time I've gone out. If I'd spent a small number of people I'm going to be around, then probably not. Went into Walmart the other day, and I did. It's really not that big of a deal, you know, to wear one. I have all these people on social media telling me, oh, it makes it hard to breathe. N not really so unless you are already having uh, respiratory problems to begin with. In which case, you probably shouldn't be out in public that much in the first place. What I don't understand is why people are getting violent about the use of these really harmless masks. Now, at the end of the day, the masks are more likely to help you prevent spreading the disease than maybe getting it. There's been a lot of studies showing that it may not be as much of a protection against you getting it unless you have a good, high-quality mask that can stop all particles coming through. But, of course, most of those are the N95 respirator masks that have been really sent to, you know, mostly medical professionals who are dealing with the problem, in the, you know, firsthand. But most of the masks are just there to stop you from spreading the virus to other people. Because, yeah, a lot of people out there that, that are complaining about having to wear masks, they act like they're like, well, we're perfectly healthy, there's nothing wrong with us. Yeah, but what about the rest of us? The rest of us who can't get this virus and easily survive it. There are many of us, millions of us, who cannot. And a lot of people are complaining that this violates their rights. But somehow it doesn't violate my rights for you, per se, to be carrying an AK-47 down the street. I don't feel very safe when some random person's walking down with an assault rifle. But does that infringe on my rights of feeling safe or anything like that? No, no. But does it infringe on their rights to wear a mask? They seem to think so. Like somewhere in the Constitution, they believe it says they have a right to not wear a mask. Now, I haven't seen that amendment or anywhere in the Constitution that says a state or the federal government cannot say that you need to wear a mask for a certain period of time. But if you are one of those people of the persuasion that it's okay to carry a gun to protect others, but not okay to wear a mask to protect others, you're not really trying to protect other people, are you? What are you actually trying to do? Yeah, you're trying to be a jackass. That's what you're trying to do. Unfortunately, nobody understands that. Unfortunately, a lot of these people just don't care. They care about themselves, and they feel that they won't get the virus, so they don't care about anyone else around them. Now, I just left an area of East Texas where a lot of the people around me, up until the point people started dying from this mess, thought that Donald Trump was telling them the truth, when it was a, that it was a hoax, that it was fake, that it wasn't real. And then their family members started dying from it. At the end of the day, I think this will hurt Donald Trump down the stretch into November. Because you're going to start seeing more and more older Americans, especially older white Americans, who are going to start moving away from Donald Trump. I'm not saying they'll vote for Joe Biden because you're going to have a hard enough time dragging me to the polls to vote for Joe Biden. But I think they're going to stay home. I don't think they're going to be enthusiastic to vote for Donald Trump. Unfortunately, I still believe Donald Trump wins in a landslide, at least electoral landslide, in November. But that is yet to be seen. I guess we'll see that come November. Anyways, it's been um, nice talking to you. I hope you are having a great day. I hope you are staying safe. And anyway, have a great day. I'll see you down the, down the road. And remember, in November, vote blue.